For this version, we will have the functions return the result of the calculation of the area, and then the next function will calculate the perimeter and return its result. Okay, well, let's write the prototype that we would expect from any of these two functions. And let's uh, call the first one get area instead of simply area. It's usually a good idea to write verbs for functions. Okay, however, it's going to return a float. Notice no longer void in there. Get area. And it will take two floats. Float, float. So it takes two floats, returns a float, right? Same thing with perimeter. Float, get perimeter. And then float, and then float. So this is a good idea because with the verb now, we know this function will do something. And if it does something, it's going to give us something back. So no longer void here. Okay. All right. So get area and get perimeters are going to be the, uh, the uh, function names that we're going to be using. So let me just copy this, show you quickly here so we don't make any mistakes and paste it right here. But this time you formally write, and you can put a W in length here, or L here, and W. So these are your local variables for the width and the length. You could call them length and width. Remember, they're totally independent from width and length that are declared within main, right? Uh, so you could do this. And then simply, watch this here for this function, return. So you need a return statement. L times W, okay? So it simply will multiply these two variables together and return that as the result of the operation, okay? Now, again, it is advisable that you name your variables more than L and W, but if you do, uh, just write down L is length and W is width in your comments so people can tell what you meant by L and W when you look, they look at your code, okay? You go on vacation, you leave your code for someone else to finish up, they wanna know, okay? Um, excellent, so now how about the uh, get perimeter? So let me just go ahead and copy get perimeter right here, and we're gonna paste it here and formally put our arguments here. And we're going to do the same thing, L and W. Okay. Now, again, you could say length and width. Okay. Uh, and you're going to return. Notice we're not printing the result here. We're simply going to return the result of two times L plus W. Okay. That would be the, oops, don't forget to put an asterisk here. Okay, that's core to this lesson, that you're multiplying two by the sum of L, W. Okay, and let's close the curly brace. Now, let's call these functions. But before that, let me just compile to make sure we don't have any syntax error. At the same time, it's saving it for us. Let's call these two functions. If you're going to call them, there are two different ways to call these. You could have a variable waiting for each one, or you can simply call them within a print statement. Let's do that first. So printf, the area equals, and I will do a percent point two f. I'm gonna do it in two ways. Slash n, and watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call the function right here, get area, and then supply it with length, and width that are local to main, okay? That will call the function for you and it will return the value and it will be placed right here. Another way to do this is let's say I do this uh, perimeter as then you could say something like this, perim equals, so this is another way to do this, get perimeter, so you'll have to to call perimeter separately, 
as a function, give it the length and the width. Okay, these are requirements for perimeter to work. And then printf, simply print per, uh, perim, the perimeter equals percent point two f, same thing, slash n. And then this simply perim here, since you already calculated the area, I mean the perimeter, using the get perim function call. So I've did it two ways. Could I have done the get perim right here instead? Absolutely. Could I have uh, created a, a, a temporary variable to store the areas and then say area equal get area? Absolutely as well. Okay. So uh, this here just gives you the two flavors in which you can use a function call. You can call a function within another function, within printf. Or you can call a function separately, get the result that it's supposed to be returning since it returns a float to whom? To the variable perim, which happens to be a float, and then go ahead and print perim. All right, let's get this to work. Compile and run. And we got a little problem here. We've got a printf messed up. Let's fix that. Printf right here. There you go. All right, so compile and run again. There you go. Now let's suppose the length is one and the width is one, right? So we've done that example before. So the area is one and the perimeter is four, right? So one plus one is two times two is four. 